believe and trust in God's love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth perish, but have everlasting life. Let us pray. God of love, we are amazed at your love for the whole world. And yet how you love each of us as if we were only your only child. As we follow Jesus in lives of devotion and faith. Lead us to bear your love to all people near and far. Amen. Our text in focus today will be on John 3, verse 16. Today is the fourth Sunday in Lent, and we are more than halfway to Easter. As we move further from Ash Wednesday, we anticipate the triumph of Easter. As we move... All right. Today is the fourth Sunday in Lent, and we are more than halfway to Easter. As we move further from Ash Wednesday, we anticipate the triumph of Easter and the love it brings. According to scholars, the gospel according to John was written by a beloved disciple named John. It was written to show the divinity of Christ. He uses metaphorical and cryptic language and relies on the image of eternal life. It explains who Jesus is and what it means to follow him. We are called to believe and trust in God's love. The coronavirus pandemic is confusing and frightening for millions of people. Many around the world are sick and many others have died unless the situation changes drastically and we take the vaccine, many more will fall ill. This crisis raises serious medical, ethical and logical questions. However, as people of faith, we are called in these unprecedented times to believe and trust in God's love. Our gospel story takes place at the end of a conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, a teacher of the law, and a member of the Jewish religious leadership. He visits Jesus in the wake of the events of last week's gospel when Jesus cleansed the temple. This cleansing of the temple scandalized the religious leadership of which Nicodemus was a member. But something about Jesus intrigues Nicodemus enough that he goes to visit Jesus, although he is cautious enough to do so at night in the dark. After his conversation with Jesus, he, we are told that Nicodemus defended Jesus before the Sanhedrin, and he later helps to remove the body of Jesus from the cross because he eventually believed and trust in him. The text speaks about God's love for his son or Lord Jesus Christ. God's love for his creation, God's love for the sinful fallen world, and God's love for his elect redeemed people. Whosoever believeth in him, God loves us. According to the Greek lexicon, the Greek word for belief is pistio, and it means to trust in. This is to act in truth 
by doing and living out what we believe. We have received the gift of grace from God, who sends his only begotten Son to die for our sins. Lent is a time to reflect on the great love of God for us in Jesus Christ, a time to make sacrifices. God willingly gave his only Son as the greatest example of love in action. As we believe in Christ, in this gift of love, we have the blessing of eternal life now and forever. We have a God who stretches his arms around the whole world, yet loves each of us as the beloved child he has always longed for. Nicodemus was convinced that God must have sent Jesus because of all the miraculous signs that he performed. He came honestly seeking him and it took him some time before he believed, but he eventually did. His faith kept him and rescued him from the darkness of unbelief into the light of believing. This is how we practice faith in God, by believing and trusting in God's love. To believe and trust in God calls us to walk in the light. We are called to believe the gospel and walk in the light. God sent his son to save us, to give us a second chance, to give us salvation, and to bring us closer to him. If we believe in Jesus Christ, then we must also believe and trust in him. Nicodemus shows us that sometimes the process of claiming Jesus as Lord and Savior takes a while. He was still welcomed and he believed in God through Jesus Christ. Believe and trust in God's love, my sisters and brothers. Jesus is calling us out of the darkness into the light of his saving grace. Are you ready to make him Lord of your life? Are you ready to step out of the darkness and into the light of God's love for you? For God loved us in this way. He gave his only son so that if we believe in him, we will not perish, but we will have eternal life. God's invitation is not to condemn, but God does not force us to believe and trust in him. We have been created with the freedom of choice. All the blessings we long for are contained in Christ. We are prone to error and sin, but Jesus' mercy and goodness towards us always rescues us. To follow Jesus in these unprecedented times means obeying the protocols, looking out for our neighbor, showing compassion, and sharing his love with others. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, believe that Jesus is light, a light that illuminates us and around us. This light comes when we believe and trust in God. It requires us to walk by faith and not fear. God offers us true relationship with Jesus Christ a different way, a different possibility for living. No matter your circumstances, you may be afraid, you may feel lonely or depressed, or you may be happy and hopeful. Believe and trust in God's love. Look up to the cross. Look to Christ Jesus, our protector and redeemer, and see God's love and not God's punishment. See and experience healing and hope. See the possibility and promise of new life in him. My brothers and sisters, 
God loves us. I challenge us to follow Jesus in lives of devotion and faith in God. By practicing daily devotion, by reading the scriptures, by praying without ceasing, and by making sacrifices for God. Believe and trust in God's love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen.